To access the abdominal cavity, small incisions are created. Trocars are placed to serve as passageways for surgical instruments. The surgeon examines the abdomen using a laparoscope or video camera. The average human stomach can expand a hold around 1 to 1.5 liters of food. While in the stomach, food is combined with digestive enzymes. These help break the food down into a simpler form so that it can be digested more easily and absorbed in the small bowel. The single anastomosis duodenal switch, or loop DS, begins with a sleeve gastrectomy in which a thin vertical sleeve is created using a stapling device. This sleeve will typically hold between 100 and 150 milliliters and is about the size of a banana. The resected portion of the stomach is removed. The small bowel is divided approximately 3 centimeters beyond the stomach, preserving the pyloric. The end of the small bowel is located and about 3 meters of small bowel are measured. At this point, a loop of the small bowel is brought up to the duodenum and joined as shown. By altering the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract by creating the gastric sleeve and altering the path and anatomy of the small bowel, the single anastomosis duodenal switch changes signals in the body, resulting in decreased hunger and increased feelings of fullness after meals. As with all weight loss procedures, behavior modification and dietary compliance plays a critical part in determining the long-term success of the procedure. All surgery presents risks. Weight, age, and medical history determine your specific risks. Ask your doctor if bariatric surgery is right for you.